What's up, everybody? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. I haven't done an intro like that in a while. It felt, felt good to bring it back. Uh, when I'm here at the office, I'm generally using my MacBook Pro as my OS to get my work done, but I like to experience other operating systems. So for the past like 10 months at home, I was using a Pixelbook trying Chrome OS, and I wanted to go back to trying Windows 10 to see what Windows 10 could do. It's been a while since I used it on a daily basis and I use my home computer all the time. So I switched to try to use Windows. And as I've been switching, I've found apps that have made the transition a lot easier and have made Windows work better for me, especially coming from Mac OS. So I wanted to share the apps that have made the Windows transition more seamless for me. And if you guys have suggestions for some that work, leave in the comments down below. And if you are fast, we're also giving away a Surface Pro 6 for the next few days. I'll link to that one down below. I didn't realize how often I use Quick Look on Mac OS. And as a slight trivia question for the video, what version of Mac OS did Quick Look come out on? Let us know in the comments down below. And I missed having it on Windows. You just push spacebar and you could preview a document without having to double click and open it up. So there's appropriately an app in the Windows Store. It's totally free called Quick Look. It does the same thing and does it really well. You push spacebar, you can open a document. It saves me time and it just made the transition a bit easier. For this next app, I wanna thank our sponsor, Freedom VPN. I didn't really start using VPNs until the past eight months when I started talking about products with my wife and I started getting advertisements for them showing up on Instagram and Facebook. So VPNs have become a little bit important for me. Essentially, it's a virtual private network. It can mask what you're doing and it can mask where you are and it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. So Freedom is by F-Secure. It's a company with 30 years of spotless track record for protecting its customers, which is a kind of a big deal for, for anybody. It's super easy to set up. You can get it up and running under a minute. You don't need like a rocket science degree to get this working. There's a gigantic on off button. So you can choose when you want your VPN on and when you want your VPN off. If you've been debating trying a VPN, it's a good time. There's really no risk. You can try it free for five days. You can also get 20% off with discount code TechnoBuffalo. We'll put all the information to it down below. So I use Spotlight a ton on Mac OS, just pushing Command Space and searching for anything. I love that feature. The Start menu and the search bar inside of it on Windows 10 is crazy powerful. My fingers just got used to sort of hitting those hotkeys to do it. This is gonna be the same thing on Windows. It's just Alt and Spacebar and it pulls up a search box. It doesn't give you any additional functionality that you don't get at the search and the Start menu. My fingers are just used to those hotkeys, so it's just been a nice thing to have for me. I've never been the biggest fan of screenshotting. On Windows 10, I always use like Command Shift 4 to select the area I want to take a screenshot of. There's an app totally free called Greenshot that gives you crazy granular controls over screenshotting. You can set for the hotkeys you're used to. So for me, I just used Alt Shift 4, so it was the same hotkeys I was used to. You can pick the file format, you can pick the size, you can pick where it saves to, you can have it all automate. I absolutely love Greenshot. It's made my life a ton easier. I do a lot of screenshotting and just the granular options it gives you have been totally awesome. When I switch to Windows, it's like one of the first three apps I always download. So as somebody who suffers from insomnia, a lot of my work is done either like unnecessarily late at night or way early in the morning. So I like the color temperature on my screen to kind of shift with the time. So I use Flux for that. If you're coming for Mac, it's similar to what you get with Night Shift. You can set a schedule too. You can be cool during the day, warmer at night, or you can adjust it manually. So Windows 10 has a feature called Nightlight that's gonna kind of give you similar options. This just gives you way more control and I kind of like that. There's also a ton of built-in presets you can use and you can also disable it for full screen apps if that's not your jam. This next one is called Backblaze. It does cost $5 per month, but for me, it kind of gives me peace of mind. It does whole computer backups. You can access your backups. You get an option to get a drive of all of the data mailed to you. If your computer goes lost or stolen, you've got kind of a find my computer feature built in. So Windows 10 does have backups built in. You can do backups onto external drives too if you want. It's been a little bit finicky in my experience. The five bucks for me was just a price to pay for peace of mind. Not a necessity, but I kind of enjoyed having it. So these are the apps that have made the transition for somebody coming from Mac OS to Windows 10 the easiest. This has made Windows 10 not really Mac E, but it's sort of given me the features that I got used to on Mac OS to Windows, oftentimes with more option than I ever got on Mac OS. If there's an app that you use on Windows that can make people's lives easier, let us know in the comments and we'll reply and we'll even pin the top one up to the top so people can see it and find some new apps to, to help them. 